Oh, that worked out nicely. Hello and welcome to a midweek jish. Now, by now, I'm sure you're wondering, what is jish? Well, it's actually in an acronym. It stands for just in case something happens. Because if something happens, you're going to want a just in case. Just in case something happens. Some of these jokes are old, okay? I haven't done one in a few weeks. And Say hello to the fatherland, motherland, the land. <clears throat> The world's oldest panda dies at the age of 38. When asked if she had any regrets, she said, I wish I got out more. Ancient DNA shows humans settled the Caribbean in two distinct waves. The first one, and then the second one. Pennsylvania man accused of casting a Trump vote for his dead mother. His name, Norman Bates. I know, it's old. Some of these are old. You're good. Bear with me. A kindergarten in Newark switched school hours to night so they can have parent supervision, freeing up the children's day so they might get a job and help out around the house. It'd be of a little use, you know? <clears throat> Parlor, the speech alternative, the free speech alternative to Facebook and Twitter is dropped by several major platforms. To adapt and survive, they have rebranded as the buy one, get one free speech platform. Since then, they, uh, they partnered with a Russian cybersecurity firm. So. <clears throat> Trump was absent from all Inauguration Day ceremonies, but he did leave a signed note on his desk. The president, Biden, has a Peloton exercise bike that may pose a cybersecurity threat. Mr. Biden said, <laughs> don't worry, they'll never catch me. Whew. Lose those shades, Matthew. <clears throat> uh, that's not a good one. Ooh, I'm going to have to ask you to rewind the clock a week, okay? You'll understand. Family Video announced it was shutting its doors for good this week, and people took to storming the Capitol, which they didn't do when Blockbuster closed its doors. Just goes to show people are willing to fight for the family, but not for the black. I had to keep, you know, it's, it's like one decent one. If this doesn't work out, I gotta live there, in the paradise, okay? With mounds. I'm talking about this mound here. That's where I'm going to have to live, okay? A Canadian high schooler survived a cold winter's night lost in the mountains of British Columbia by building a snow cave. He says the idea came to him while improvising in the heat of the moment. <sighs> here at the show, uh, we sent a letter to him, and uh, we're going to bring him on as a writer for the Jish Report, and we hope it works out. Luckily, he was found by a funeral director that moonlights as a search and rescue manager. Might be a small town, you know, you have to do it. More than one job. <clears throat> NASA shut down a moon rocket test of their space launch system after just over a minute. Scientists said if it, <laughs> if it wasn't just a test, you know, if it was the real thing, the rocket would have lasted much longer. I mean, we're astronauts, okay? The sex is amazing. We're astronauts. <sighs> Too far? No. The SAT said they will scrap at the essay. Okay. The SAT said they're going to scrap the essay section of the test, but they would like you to explain, in your own words, why you think this is a good idea. A lack of tiny parts disrupts auto factories worldwide. I thought I saw less trucks on the road. 
That wasn't bad, you know? Actually, let's flip a coin. We got a good Eisenhower here. Good show, bad show. Whew. Bad show. Whew. Now, I know I have no precedent to talk about anything at all, really. But four years ago on January 20th, I had an open mind, I still do, about many things. And uh, I was driving along for work and I, I saw on the side of the highway a bald eagle. And I was like, holy cow, this is crazy, right? Must be a sign. Good things, you know? And then I recalled that the bald eagle was perched atop a tree that was black with mold, half of its stature and barely standing and I said that is not a good omen and today I was like uh are there any omens today I don't know I didn't find any and then I was like well what should I wear for this show how about this sick jacket I was rifling through my closet and I found this little number oh <laughs> I didn't even know I had it look at that it says good times if you didn't know <clears throat> now you're like, excuse me Make a long distance phone call. Nine, 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 nine. Take me to Scotland.